Hi, I'm Rebecca Glayfish here at the 1848 Project. Let's talk about your messaging. You know there are three keys to a successful campaign, money, message, and manpower. To get your message right, you've already established your why you're running, chosen your three to five pillar issues, and developed your elevator pitch. In this video, take a deeper messaging dive to learn tips on doing doors, debates, forums, and media requests, the difference between attacks and contrast, and finally, social media messaging. So let's go to doors. We want you to spend a minute or less on this process. Knock the door, give the voter your elevator pitch, hand them your lit, and ask them for their vote. Remember, he who does the most doors wins, but doors are also a battlefield. People who will never vote for you may try and waste your time keeping you at their door so you can't make progress with other voters. If you found a voter who just wants to argue or engage for a really long time, politely give them your number for a follow-up discussion, but don't waste your time trying to persuade an unpersuadable voter. Instead, use that time to hit two more doors. The process should not take longer than about three minutes to get your message out and answer any question. Part of good messaging is good use of time. And that speaks to our next topic. Should you use your time on debates, forums, and media interviews? The answer is mostly yes, but you have to evaluate the value. Ask yourself, who is the audience? In other words, is the audience persuadable voters? What is the best outcome for me? And am I more likely to gain or lose support as a result of this? Remember, the best result of a forum or debate is not saying anything that winds up in the paper and getting your opponent to say something that winds him up in the paper and getting free content for your social media. You may feel obligated to do debates put on by hostile groups because there aren't any other debates being sponsored. The truth is, the only people who will be critical of you not doing the debate are the people who are not going to vote for you. Try getting a different, less partisan debate sponsor to do a different debate. Ask the local chamber of commerce, Rotary, a retirement center, or Moms for Liberty. All have been willing to sponsor fair debates. Then prepare. Check your candidate digital how to run for office book for more details, but follow these guidelines. Know the format, anticipate the questions, practice answering them out loud, do a trial run in front of your friends, record your responses, work on pivot points back to your strengths, and develop a strong opening and closing statement. You may be attacked at a forum, in an article, or in an opinion piece. This is why it's important for you to understand the difference between an attack and contrast. We need you to resist attacking and instead use contrast. Attacks are usually personal. Contrast usually focuses on your opponent's record, ideas, and ability to serve. All fair game. At the end of the day, though, try to focus on you and your ideas. And if you have to respond to an attack or contrast yourself, don't bother giving your opponent free name ID. Refer to them as my opponent or the current office holder. Last, messaging on social media. Use your accounts to update voters on your activities by posting photos and alternating between political policy and personal posts. Use social media to crowd build for your events and even ask for contributions and volunteers. Don't use social media to complain or go on long rants. People won't read it. And besides, you're the problem solver, not the complainer. Don't use social media to attack or respond to the trolls on your pages. Your supporters will take care of the trolls. And don't post anything you don't want printed in the paper. Once it's posted, it is screen captured and attached to you forever. Don't let a moment of catharsis be the problem that haunts you all the way to election night. When in doubt, take the high road. If you have more questions, post them in the group chat or ask your mentor or one of us. Good luck.